Hey guys, Marlon here. In the webinar last time, somebody asked about how to integrate the depth edge transmutation in the Google Classroom's grades uh, tab. The answer I gave was we cannot. We can only set percentages and criteria or categories at the moment and see the overall score or the initial score as you guys call it as per the depth ed templates. The transmutation won't be done by Google Classroom for us. There is, however, a workaround on this. Kung paano, here is how. Start po tayo kung ano ang gusto ng DepEd to transmute the grades. I did my research and found this post. It says 2020 official DepEd transmutation table and templates. Also, I went to the DepEd website and found this memo with three tables with different transmutations. I believe these ones were set to address the unexpected closure of classes or schools at the last term of school year. Table 1 is here. Here is the table 2 and the table 3 is here. I had these tables transferred in a Google Sheet. You can see the content by clicking the link under the description of this video. Click that link and then make a copy for yourself so that you can use it when you do your own transmutation. After making a copy, you guys should see something similar to this one. We have a depth ed transmutation here and the three tables enclosed in the memo. Table 1 here, table 2 here, and table 3. Okay, so let's go to the Google Classroom. Our discussion will focus on that time when you are about to give the grades to the students. This is the classroom. The data of each of the students in each of the activities are found in the Classwork tab. This one. Here, I created topics that correspond to the depth ed criteria, performance tasks, written work, and quarterly assessment. And under each criteria or categories, there are several activities. We have here two. Then here, we have three written works and uh, one summative assessment at the end of the quarter. You may, of course, have more, but there shouldn't be any problem even in that case as long as you follow the idea in this video. Let's click this People tab. Here we only have two students. Anyway, this is just for demonstration purpose only. There will be more in your classes in the Philippines. Okay, assuming that we guys already graded all the works of our students and we already have returned those works. And when we click this grade tab, we should be seeing something like this. Like a summary of students' data in a class. With the names of students here, arranged alphabetically either by first or last name. The overall grades of students here and the mean for the entire class. These columns here correspond to the works we graded. Take a look at this portion under each activity. QA, we have PT and WW. The reason is these works are defined to be computed under certain criteria or category. Right, click this icon, then you'll have this. You scroll down to the grading setting, grading system called Weighted by Category. I define the category or criteria to be WW for written work, PT for performance tasks, and QA for quarterly assessment. Then, the percentages per category are also defined here. Do this in accordance to the depth ed instruction with regards to the subject you are teaching. For the sake of demonstration, we are going to use the one that was set for science and math subjects. 40, 40, 20. Google Classroom calculate the overall grade like this. For each category, the grades are summed up, then divided by the highest possible total score, and converted into percentages. It looks like the Google Classroom computes or calculates the students' grades the same way as what the DepEd wants. The only issue is that we cannot integrate transmutation into the classroom directly. But just like what I told in the beginning, there is a work around about this. Click any one of the assignments you gave to students, say this one. In this page, click this icon on the left, and here you have three possible actions. Let's just pick copy all grades for Google Sheets. Let's do that. Okay, here we have our copy of students' data. Now consider WW category for this First students, we have 28, 21, and 82. And the highest possible total here is 30, 25, and 100. For convenience, let me just use the function here. Equal sign, parenthesis. We have the sum of the scores divided by the highest possible total score. 
and then we convert to percentage and there we have it the same idea goes to the other students so we can just copy our formula here and paste here for the PT category we do the function again equal sign and these scores divided by the perfect total score then a percentage then proceed to copying this formula for the rest of the class for QA category we can just copy the single entry we have here or if you have more than one grade under this category do the same as in the WW and PT categories for now let's place equal sign here this cell then copy for the rest of the class all right let's try to verify the overall grade I'll merge this okay instead of overall I will put initial all right equal sign this WW is 40% this PT is 40% and this QA is 20%, giving us the weighted average. Copy and paste this for the other students. We can lower down the number of decimal places using this icon. In depth edge term, this is called initial grade, and this initial grade will be transmuted according to the depth edge table. All right, let's do that. Let's click this sheet that I showed earlier. There are four tables, but let us just use the first one. To demonstrate the process in this sheet this figure is the transmuted grade from this assumed initial grade the transmutation is based from the table of values example 77 is 85 now we change this to 63.4 and this is transmuted to 77 like that balik tayo sa grading po natin sa depth highlight columns a till d here then copy then go to the tab where you have the copy of the grades from the Google Classroom. All right, you go to this one, add sheet, click column A, and then paste. What we want is this transmutation function here. What you should do is to cut, uh, not copy, all right? Then go to the original sheet, sheet zero, and paste it here, beside the initial grade that needs to be transmuted. All right, it looks like it's not correct because it shows 77. We check the function and you'll see that it is referring to the original number in sheet 1. So we should change this to this initial grade here. Delete this and replace with this cell. And there you go. Now for the rest of the students, what you should do is to copy this new function here into the other cells for the rest of the class, like that. Now you have the transmuted grade for each of the initial grade copied from the Google Classroom. If you need more clarification or anything that you think should be automated in the depth edge assessment, this is me via the comment below and I'll try to provide you some assistance via this channel. Okay guys, bye.